all the little bobbies. A Shusui there. Sort of a Kahaku, the orange head. I think that one's gonna be a Chagoy. God knows what all the others are, but what I'm doing is the reason for this is, you'll see the thermometer in there. So, 14.6, just gradually bringing the temperature up. And the reason for it, these are all the small, small babies. So my outdoor grow on, or quarantine if you like, um, with the Alecki bills and that going through the roof, I'm trying to cut down on what I'm using. So the actual grow ons, which I'll show you now, just turn the pump off, there is food in there. So these are all now getting to the size where there's no reason they can uh, go into the big pond. So the heater was turned off. When was the heater turned off? Probably a week ago, just under a week ago. So the temperature is slowly dropping. And I'm about two degrees off from matching the temperature to outside temperature. But they don't like being in here. They're quite sketchy, bless them. The water's not that deep at the moment. It's only about 400 mil deep. So... Um, it was just getting far too inefficient to heat it because although we're outside, um, I spent a lot of time doing this, um, the, the intention of this was really a, a quarantine, not so much a grow on. So the plan is to build another pond outside. I'll say outside, but it'll be covered and insulated. So it'll sort of be indoors, but yeah, none of this in here is insulated. So honestly, when I say it's as cold near as it is outside, it bloody well is. So I uh, won't be needing this anymore. So anybody looking for an indoor grow on. So this is the Spider Farmer 38 watt. And these have been brilliant. I noticed such a difference in growth and color. Um, so that's gonna be up for sale. I think they're about 70, 80 quid new. So open to office. I could do actually, someone could win this, couldn't they? Ah, that'll be good. Uh, filters I'll decommission anyway, cause I need the bits for the sieve. So that's quite handy. I've taken some media off. I've stolen a pair of tights off my uh, off the wife and cut them up because some of the media has gone into what I'm about to show you. So obviously these are big enough to go in the pond. Let's flip the pump up on. Right there Ted. You've been a good boy. Been a good boy. Uh oh, here comes trouble. Here comes trouble. Kiss, 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 kiss. Good boy. So what we're doing, as a lot of those fry are sort of inch, inch and a half tops. So I've actually gone and got myself a 125 litre tank. So at the moment, unheated, temperature wise, this is sitting at um, 17 and a half degrees. So got some rocks out of the garden. Um, stone wise, that's just pea beach because honestly, I needed four bags, three to four bags of gravel and they charge you an absolute fortune for pond gravel. So that's just pea beach. What's quite nice is it's got bits of shell on that in it as well. So be handy for the old pH. Um, plants wise, got a couple of fakies there, but most of the plants are real aquatic plants. Bring a bit of oxygen. And then at the back, it's turned down a little bit at the moment, but uh, yeah. So what I've done, so that's a bag of alpha grog just out of the old one to help the bio. Um, it's been set up a while now, but that was just to assist. And then filtration wise, so this is just a basic Tetra, 125 litre tank. And then in terms of filtration, so we've got the canister filter, um, beta canister filter. This is the thousand litre per hour model. It's actually quite cool. Um, obviously it's no pond heater, uh, pond filter, but uh, in comparison to the size of the tank. So we're turning over the water in the tank five times an hour plus. Um, so yeah, but a couple of the babies have gone in. Obviously been introducing them slowly just so we don't uh, chuck the filter out of sink if you like. I'm just trying to find some of them. But they've all gone into hiding now because I'm around. But it looks like a little forest. There's some in like the cave. Ah, oh, well done Ev. So there you go, two Shiro's at the back. So uh, mini, mini Ed, and that one in the middle, that's actually Ed Shiro, aptly named. And then we've got a little, so he's actually a yellow Shusui by the looks of things. So that should be interesting. And then somewhere in there is a shower. So I thought I was just looking at the back there. I don't know if that picks up on the camera, but. 
It looked like a dead koi, which was a bit depressing, but it's not, it's a leaf. <laughs> Thankfully, there is. So one of the larger grow-ons, um, he's not grown much, so you can just see him. He's in there in the plants, but all, they are a bit sketchy. They've gone from being in a big tank, but he's about three inches long, that one. So I'm going to see how he gets on in there, but hoping a bit of growth food, and then I'll be able to, uh, in the high temperature, we'll be able to move him into the pond. But hello. It's actually really good fun watching them. Hello. No. But yeah, so he's um, he's one of the ones that hasn't grown on so well. But he's a, a dapper old colour, bless him. That's the only problem. Call your best viewed from above, but uh, obviously seeing him in the tank is quite different. Just notice a dirty bit of the tank there. Look, that's going to bug the heck out of me. But uh, yeah, so we're just going to get. I'm just matching temperatures at the moment. So just over the next ten minutes, quarter of an hour. And then we'll get these bad boys in, won't we, Ev? Yeah. And we're having a jolly good old sort of sort out of house paperwork, which is always good fun. But yeah, so they're getting ready to go in. He's so pretty. I don't know why I'm clicking. Not a dog. Hello. Same. So there we go, everybody's in the new home. Everyone seems happy. Turn the air up now. Probably an element of shock, bless them. But, uh, I'll monitor the, the bigger one at the back there. See how we get on, but hopefully get a bit of growth. Um, it's hard to tell, but obviously in comparison to the size of the tank, he's he has got plenty of room in there at the moment, but I will watch carefully. But the others, loads of room. They seem pretty happy. They're all hanging out together. What have you done to us? What are we doing in here? But yeah, so uh, hopefully if we get any fry this year, we'll be able to raise them in this, hatch them and raise them in this, which would be nice and easy because we do it in the warm and the comfort of our own home. Thank you. 